All right, good morning, Cyber Traders. Only one day left. Actually, today is the last day of the pay period, but I'm at one day left of Halloween. I got my Halloween costume on. I'm supporting Ferrari. Hopefully, everyone's got their little costume on. Hopefully, have a little fun today. How everybody's doing? Everybody ready for uh, the last day of the pay period? I think we got a. Uh, we got some action going on. A little excitement going on here. Like a, I got like a hurricane going on outside here in New York. Looks like that whole storm came up here. The winds are blowing every place. But um, but listen, we had a really great day yesterday. What did I tell you yesterday? Yesterday was Thursday, right? If you look back in your journals, cyber traders, students, if you look on your journals, you always notice that when we show you how to use the Excel spreadsheet, you do the monthly. And if you play around with it, you could actually see, okay, just show me for Thursday. And you'll see Thursday has been the greatest days. And I like to make a couple of announcements. First of all, Will Ireland sent me a, such a nice uh, private chat in the room. Now, Will's been with us for, oh, I don't know, probably six months now, I think, maybe eight months now. And, um, you know, and I, I, I talk about him a couple of times because, you know, and there's some of you that have been here for a while, you know, the Kent Dolls, you know, the Lita's, you know, the Debs, you know, all of you guys, uh, Grant Brockways, you guys have been here for a while. But here's a guy that, you know, came from another school. And, you know, he wanted to make it work. And, you know, he was such a really nice guy. Uh, we were talking about him. And he wanted to thank me. He said he had his best day ever trading Neo yesterday, NIO. And it's funny, but, like, every day is, like, the best day ever with him. <laughs> you know, it feels like it's like uh, SpongeBob, the movie SpongeBob. You know, uh, best day ever. I love that look. I was a big fan of SpongeBob at one point. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm just very happy for you. And I'm just, listen, I told you this. I'm telling everybody this. I have a passion to teach you guys. I hate to see people lose money. And I, more importantly, I know a lot of you go out there and you might get sold on some YouTube commercial or, you know, you might see something like an infomercial, whatever it is. And I always tell everybody, they're not all bad people, um, but you don't know if it's going to work. You got to practice it. You got to try it for about, you know, buy something small, get in there, see if the traders, how they're doing. See if they're making money, you know, see what the customer service, how you connect with the people that work there. You know, we're really big when it comes to customer service. And then you make a judgment and then try it out. Do something small. But if it doesn't work after 30 to 60 days, it's time to move on. You know, it doesn't take a year. If anyone tells you that, run away. You know, run away. Very important. But uh, but thank you very much for that. And also, uh, Mike Seppley, same thing to you. You know, he just started out. Uh, he said his tree business is running slow now. Thank God, because he can spend more time in the trading room. He's doing great. So anyway, thank you guys. You guys have been great. And uh, and like I told you, you guys can owe me a favor, and you know what it is. I told you when you first came in here, when you guys start making money, you might have to give, you know, just go out there and tell everyone, you know, with those nice uh, Google reviews, let's keep my reviews up to five stars. That's what I recommend, you know, because people need to see the real truth out there. All right. So anyway, let's get back to the market because there's a good stock that's running up right now. And you see there's a BL. Let me bring up so you guys can see her on YouTube a little bit better. Uh, the BLRX with stock was up uh, 52%, but it's doing crap right now. It's not really going anywhere. It's like flat line and stuff like that. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that. I'm telling you the truth. I don't really have a big list. I got about two stocks that probably are showing up pretty well. We're going to come back. I'm going to tell you those stocks. But I just want to cover yesterday. What we traded yesterday because there were a couple of good stocks. So anyway, I want to bring up the um, the Neo trade one more time, you know. So anyway, this Neo is just an animal. It just look at that thing, just gorgeous. The thing just took off, went up beautifully. Okay, uh, I and also the Pinterest, uh, Pinterest we killed it on the swing trade. Listen, I own the stock around thirty five. Okay. Uh, and I averaged up and I bought more at like 48, 49. So I'm doing pretty well on that stock. I'm still holding it. I know it took a big hit, uh, from yesterday. It was almost at 70. You look at it like, oh damn, you threw away 10 points. You're telling me that's a lot of, that's a lot of money I, I left on the table, but you know what? I'm still doing great. I, I still have good confidence in it. So anyway, the market's down about 220 points. So there's a lot of reds going around everywhere to, to be shared. But, uh, you know, listen, I always want to preserve my profit. I might sell half, and then I might, you know, and see how it goes. But if it does get a little, you know, crazy, if I break some major support levels, then I'll get out. But 60 is a big support level. Another stock we did well on, the MGEN. That stock also did pretty well. Big pop, buck 30 to 210. That's another one that we did well. Uh, 
And then it was one stock that was a real pain in the pain in the butt trading right here. The POLA. I mean, this stock was just like we traded it, had a last minute run going into the close, but it was a really kind of tough stock to trade. Uh, you could see with with those candlesticks right there, those bar charts, it, it, it had some crazy volatility. So if you did lose on it, listen, I hope it makes you feel better. You know, I basically, you know, I lost a little bit on it because it was all over the place. You know what I mean? I was in, it was out playing these nasty shakes you got to remember shakes are which you know are one of the, the the issues when we trade in today's markets and you know we cut you know in in phase three i covered that so let's go back to the market let's talk about what else is moving so we know that blrx is on the move but we don't know listen the stock when the market opens up might pop so that's on the a list uh we also another stock that's on the a list is twitter Okay, so Twitter in pre-market stock got destroyed. You know, you can see it's down 14%. Obviously, I guess it was earnings that killed it. Uh, it wasn't the, uh, you know, them him getting reamed uh, from, from uh, the senators. But anyway, the stock obviously is not a pharmaceutical stock. So we know they don't come back, but the stock is coming back in pre-market. Because we know pharmaceutical stocks don't really come back. Uh, but when you have st stocks like this, Maybe they ran it down just a little too much, but Twitter had, had, had really had a, a nice, nice, pretty decent run here for a while, but um, but it is taking a big hit. Be careful, guys. You, it's cyber traders. You traded Twitter before. You know how the stock trades. It's not the easiest stock to trade. It goes into category three and the four. All right. The other stock on the A list is going to be the M, uh, L M and L. Gonna throw that one. I don't know. You know what? Now I might consider. I'm gonna throw that on my uh, my wedding list on the B list. Don't really really like it. Now it's starting to back off. I thought it was looking pretty good. The only reason why I like this stock is because we traded it back in July. We're from ten dollars to thirty dollars. You can see it has a great short squeeze. Uh, the stock has got decimated. You know, the past month. Um, it's on. It's on one of its first days up, but it's only up three percent. So I don't know what ha I don't know what happened there. I thought it was doing a little bit better. You know what? I'm going to put it on the list anyway. We'll see what's happening. You know, I'm shocked Under Armour's moving. Under Armour, you know, obviously trying to be the next uh, Nike, but obviously never worked out for them. But it's up today. I don't know what's going on. Now, there's two stocks. There's UA and UAA, which is the warrant. So there's a Class A and a Class B uh, share. So if one moves, the other one moves. But you got to watch them both. They're actually pretty close how fast they move um, pretty simultaneously. So that one also made the watch list. Uh, I said the M uh, the MGEN, right? So that one, uh, it looks like it's trying to go up. You know, it, it's it looks like it's trying. I'll, I'll put that on the B list. I saw that come up on my radar. It's about 12%, 2.7 million shares. You got a couple of decent iceberg orders over there on level three. So that one's not terrible. And I'm just going to throw one on out there. The AIRAI. Now, listen, honestly, it's a crappy day. It really is. Okay. What is it? It's Friday. Um, you got less than four days before the election. Halloween's tomorrow. You got COVID. People, we had a great month. I told you this. Some of you, and you remember this in Bill Island, all of you guys remember this too. When you started, September, October, November are the best months of the year to trade, especially going into election and then also having COVID, which really threw a huge wrench into it. So, you know, listen, I, I keep joking around about it. I'm sick and tired of 2020, you know, with everything that's going on. I just want to race it out of my library. But you know what? We had Price Headley on our, our side on, on our cyber expo, and I do have to agree with him. Because he said the same thing. It was everyone saying, I want to erase this out of my memory. Yet yeah, maybe as a, you know, as what's happening emotionally, but as a trader, you could give me 2020 every single year. And that's what we want. You know what I mean? Because remember, you hear me saying, and don't take, don't get personal with certain things that happen every day. Um, you just got to capitalize on it. And you know what? I actually 100,000% agree with him. Give me another 2020 in the market like this. And you know what? You guys all know it. It's been just one crazy market. It's been so much fun. I haven't had this much fun since 2000, since the financial crisis. And people are like, wasn't that a bad thing? Unfortunately, catastrophes do make opportunities. But today's the last day of the pay period, guys. Don't screw up your month, okay? Don't screw it up. You know, there's always something that's going to move. And if nothing moves, it's okay. Don't trade. 
okay? Start fresh on, you know, start fresh on Monday. It's a new month. You can start fresh. But you know what? Trust me, as a trader, as a market maker that I was, we all thought the same thing. We Right now, we're looking at our sheets like, okay, how did I, would I average for the month? Would I average per day? I, you know, last thing I want to do, I want to give it back, you know? So that's how traders think, and that's how you guys got to think. So anyway, let's get ready for the market gets open. Um, if I don't see you this afternoon's meeting, have a happy Halloween, and we'll start fresh on Monday. But, you know, but listen, the market's not open up. There were a couple of stocks that move. Listen, there's always something new that will show up. So cyber traders, you see something, you say something. And all you trial members that are here at Cyber Trade University, hope you guys have, uh, had a great week. I know a lot of you are going to continue with CTU. Listen, <laughs> this is just the beginning. Wait till you see what you only, it only gets more fun. All right. Especially when you progress. Thanks guys. Everyone, YouTube, Facebook live. If you want to join us uh, for uh, any of the upcoming events, just like us, friend us. And then also if you want to join the cyber group room, just do a $9 trial and see what it's all about. Good luck everyone. And uh, be safe.